Hello, how are you today? I have a fifth project in my um, Queen Bee bundle. This is a gotta have it project, which means if you get the bundle through me, I would love to send you five free card kits for free as a thank you. And this is the fifth one. And you could go back through the videos because the other four are recent and they're right there. They're all right there in a row. Isn't that cute? A little bit sparkly, a little vintage. So this is today's project using Queen Bee. Actually, I used quite a few different stamp sets. Use Queen Bee, Happiness Abounds, mostly for this flower because I think it matches the flower on the designer paper. And this is Abigail Rose designer paper. Frame florets, mostly for this leaf right here because I think it somewhat matches the leaf on the designer paper. I love the words in this one too. Actually, I love the whole bundle. And there's no dies, even though there is a die for the crown and the bee and the words, but I hand cut these so that they're a little bit close to the edge because when I hand cut or use the die to cut this. See how there's a little bit of a border, which I think works perfectly for this. This was the first project. It works perfectly here. Um, on this project that we're doing today, I want less of a border. And the same with the crown. Okay, let's get started. So we'll be using this ribbon and it's called white and um, white frayed ribbon and because it's celebration time right now if you place an order of $50 or more this is an add-on to part of your selection you could get two rolls of this as your reward for a $50 order through celebration which runs through the end of February so I thought that was perfect for this project and you know, on this project, I'm mixing kind of vanilla with white, which I know is some ways kind of breaking the rules, but I like it. I love the look of this. So this ribbon works perfectly, but just trying to put it on a card with white, it's like, no, that's vanilla. And then putting it on a vanilla card, I think that might be a little bit better. So we'll be using this. Oh, and I want to give credit to Bonnie Hirschfeld. I copy this project from Bonnie. And Bonnie, thank you for sharing. I love the project. Be using the Hive Embossing Folder, which is also an add-on to Celebration, $50. You could get this for free. Champagne Rhinestones, love those. Here's the papers. I'm going to use Tear Tape. And, oh. I'll tell you about that in a minute. And Abigail Rose designer paper. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay. Tear tape. So, you're like, oh, you got that ready. Well, not really. The colors I'll be using are basic gray, stays on saddle brown. Did you know? that there stays on of course we use the black all the time but did you know that there's saddle brown I'll be using soft suede which is really close in color and then crush curry so the saddle brown I've had this wrapped up in plastic for ah, four years and I keep thinking I'm not going to use that well I opened it up last night and I used it and it works just fine and it stays on the only thing is the stamp is brand new and there's plenty of ink on the stays on pad and when I stamped happy birthday to cut it out on here um, it was a little bit too well inked so I stamped it in um, soft suede and sponged it and that came out better and the only reason I was fussing about it in my head was see the letter I 
Well, all the detail of the stamp, see how much better you could see it with the soft suede stamp? And that's just because they inked it well, which I appreciate, but not for the words. So we'll do new words. Speaking of words, let's put them on this paper right here. You're like, I can't see. It's a white on white. There we go. So soft suede, happy birthday. And then those are just hand trimmed. It's still coffee time. This is my my latest thing, is doing the videos in the morning. And by the end of the video, whoo wee, little shaky in a good way. And going a million miles an hour in a good way. That. Let me try one more time. They're equal. Well, if I do this, somebody will love. Oh, so, back orders. Honey bee, queen bee. It's on back order until March. 17th, the week of March 17th. Sigh. So, they gotta have a box. Usually, after I get done with the last project, a week later is the end of the order order window to get your free thank you cards. So, because March 17th is the week that it will come in, if you want to order this through me, I'd love to send you the thank you gift card kits through the 22nd of March. So hopefully it comes in. Maybe it'll come in sooner, but still I'll stick to that. Um, that one looks like it has like a little fuzzy on it. Where's the other one? That one doesn't. Um, and I'll provide a host code, but that's the pits, and there's a lot of things on back order, which I understand. People are crazy about stuff, and they want to get it. Even the, the bunny is on back order. That's on back order until... May or April yeah okay so this just gets roughed up and I'm gonna do the roughed up at the end because it makes a mess everywhere this is torn so to do the tearing if you tear down see how I'm pushing this piece right here downward that will make the roughed up edge be here I'm going to tear up. See how you could see the core of the paper, which I think holds the um, the ink for the distressing a little bit better. So I'm going to be pulling it upward. So what I'm talking about, see right here how you could see the core of the paper? And this little section, this little half inch, three quarters of an inch, you cannot see the core of the paper. You could see it on this side. That's because I was tearing downward and then I started tearing upward. And whichever way you do it is fine. And I'm purposely trying to make it a little bit, a little crazy, because I'm going for the vintage look. Okay, so we have that, that. Words. This goes under here. This is for Queen Bee. In, stays on. So stays on ink, look how new that is. Stays on ink is meant to be used with any watercoloring or um, to 
stay on, like if you're stamping, if you could, stamp in on a glass jar or anything kind of that normally naturally wouldn't hold ink. I think I could even stamp it on my snips and it stays on. Memento is made for um, using the blends. So I should be watercoloring this, but I'm going to just touch it with the blends. And <clears throat> what happens is if I were to color and color and color, it would dissolve the stays on ink. The blends would because they're an alcohol marker. And the other way around, if I were to stamp in memento and color it with watercolor, the water would just swoosh away the memento ink. Memento equals blends, stays on equals watercolor. But of course, after saying that, I'm going to do something opposite. But I'm going to be careful. Okay, a little cutting out. Yeah, I should have had this done, but it won't take too long. And I'm going to cut a bit close to, um, to the edge. Because I'll be doing the sponging, and I don't want too big of a white border there. And I'll sponge the crown. This one, I kind of overdid it. So this is class week and today we have class at Mama's house. Usually I go out to different places like different neighborhoods for class in different parts of town. But Mama wanted to do a Valentine's Day tea party. So today is a little bit of class. Then it's tea party at noon and after tea party, we're going to do white elephant gift exchange. So everyone is bringing a gift that, um, like a recycled gift or like for regifting. Because you know, sometimes, for example, um, Tony's sister sent us a, it's like a coffee barista cute cups, and they are really cute. They're kind of um, like a warm vanilla color and they're sweater looking um, and then a um, two um, like little pumpers of syrup and then I think it's one of the French press things which we already have one but I would be interested in why would I be interested in a second one you know as a backup but we don't we don't need it anyhow so the gift is perfectly good but we have our favorite cups and more favorite cups than we need anyhow so that's going to be what I have wrapped up for the white elephant and then we do the game where you could steal the gift so I know it's going to be somebody's going to want it but we don't need it so there's nothing wrong with it but it just doesn't work for us. So that's one of the things we're doing. So class for a bit, for two hours, tea party, white elephant gift exchange, and then we're gonna do big ball. And I've heard a lot of different variations on big ball. So everyone is bringing a little stampin' item, like maybe a set of blends or a package of, um, like the new dragonfly trinkets or just little stuff that you have. I think Nikki gave me her bag already and it has like a package of glitter in it. Anyhow, just little things. And I'll collect all of them. Then when everyone is busy stamping, so after they all get started, I go into the bedroom and 
wrap all this stuff up, like just start with one thing and put cellophane around it or saran wrap or stretch tight or whatever you'd like to call it. And it becomes a, like a, a big ball. And then, get this crown. Then, um, so if I have the ball, the person to my left will have a little tray with, um, it's just like a lid to a cute box and two dice. And they're rolling the dice like crazy, trying to get snake eyes, like double, double ones or whatever number you choose. If you do it for a birthday, you could do it for their age. Like, you have to get 48. No, you can't get 48. Yeah, you can. Um, and as soon as they get the double ones, then they take the dice, move it to their person to the left, grab the big ball, and they start unwrapping. So any item that they uncover, it's theirs. <gasps> and it moves so fast, and you're sitting there, go, go. So that's going to be fun. And then we'll do a little more stamping and then that's it. We're going to do that um, today, Thursday, and then <clears throat> Tuesday too. So that will be fun. Sponging with soft suede. And I'm trying not to sponge it quite as much. Oh, and you know, sponges, when they get old, they, they leave a little mess. This is just a messy card. Oh, and there's the host code for February. I'll do a new one for March if you want to get this bundle in the free. The free card kits. Okay, so there's that, but I also have to sponge this queen bee. And then I'll add a little color here in just a minute. With a daffodil delight. Okay, that's good. I'll be doing more sponging, though. but since I have this paper out, let me get to making a mess. So here's a sample, and okay, this could go to the side for just a minute. Crumb cake. cake. So, pieces and pieces. This needs to be vintaged. Lots of these need, I need a lot of vintaging. I, I'm thinking everything needs vintaging. Okay, I know for sure these need sponging. I could do that. And then after I get um, the designer paper down, I have to run it through the machine with the hive embossing folder. This piece here needs a little stamping first. So, basic gray and this stamp right here. And if you watched the prior videos, you know I had such a hard time trying to line it up. So I lined the stamp up, I put it on the block so the text is parallel with the edge of the block. Therefore, when I stamp it now, I'll have the edge of the paper lined up with the edge of the block and it will be straight.
Well, you know, it covers up a lot of the paper, but it looks good. It's vintage. Okay, so done with that. So this needs distressing. A lot of things are going to need distressing before I sponge it. So to distress it, I'm going to use my snips. Notice how they're closed. And just run it along the edge, purposely making it distressed. And I'm going to do three of the edges. Oh, and if you get a tear, see how there's a little bit of a tear? That's okay. That's, that's part of our, our plan here. If it gets folded, that's okay. At the end, the piece that I put on the top of here, it was so wonky, it was like a crazy driver. This gets distressed all the sides. Don't worry if it gets folded. Maybe that's another form of distressing. Look at all that mess. And then I'm going to um, use a sponge but I'm gonna get some of these little paper frays off of here first, just so these little pieces don't end up in the, in the stamp pad. This is the inside. I think everything gets distressed other than the card base. Maybe if you have a rough day, you could distress everything. Yeah. <laughs> and when I use a sponge on it, it will kind of accentuate all the distressing too. Little queen, little crown. Did I do everything? Yeah, I think so. Look at that mess. Okay, Whew. Inside piece, inside, outside. This could be attached. Oh, I did it right. I was thinking I distressed the wrong side, and I was thinking it had to go on like this, and it's like everything is upside down. It's fine. It's fine. So, let's start building this thing. All these papers are beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to leave a little bit of the edge showing. And it looks like I might need to trim it. Surprised I could trim it straight with all that distressing going on. And next I'm going to um, run it through the hive folder. And I'm going to run it through the hive folder before I put this piece on. 
I didn't distrust it. Well, I was supposed to do the sponging on this before I put it on. Well, you know, sometimes if you try, you can still get it. Yeah. Better than ever. Hold on. Hold on. I'm making a mess. And I wouldn't worry about it, but if I were to set a uh, white paper down in there, it would get um, the ink on it, and I don't want that. Because that's happened before. Okay, this is looking good. In a mess. And you know, um, the owner of this card, Bonnie Hirschfeld, I don't know if she did all this. She probably did some sponging, but I don't know if she went crazy with this distressing. So it's probably optional. Okay, since I'm on a roll. This is the inside basic gray. I heard that there is a product suite coming out. And it's online only. And I should have it here in about a week. But before I show you that, there is um, hints of the color of the, I think it's like the pastel gems. The loose gems. They're in Lost Lagoon. And what other color? Another in Peacock. You're like, wait a minute. I don't know what those colors are. Yeah. And they say that some of your favorite colors will be returning. I'm like, okay. And there'll be more details on it March 1st. But I don't know if that means they're coming as ink colors and that's all that's to it or if it's a whole color refresh. And being a Stampin' Up! demonstrator for a little while and being a Stampin' Up! connoisseur for a long while before when things retire, when things change, I'm like, they don't know what they're doing. But each pass in the year, I know there's a reason and just trust it. They're a really good company. They study all this stuff. So, if the colors change, sigh, take a deep breath, okay. Or if it's just new in colors, I'm all for that. But then, right now, Celebration, they have a, um, a promo for if you want to sign up, which is a good deal. If you spend a little bit of your monthly income every month on Stampin' Up!, you should think about being a demonstrator. $99 and getting $125 in product, that's good. But right now they have a promo where you could get the baby machine, the baby boss, as part of the promo, and it comes in boho blue. What's that color? So, exciting stuff happening. Okay, let's see where we are. See, I get to jabbering and talking. I guess the car.
coffee is kicking in. Do, do, do. Vintage ness. Kind of a mess, but I like it. So these I'm going to texture. And I usually try not to do any big shot work on videos, but couldn't get away from it today. So if ever you're lining up your folder, or if it's a directional folder, if it's a random folder, it doesn't matter. If it's directional, I like to use the edge or this little line to line up my paper. Because if I got it crooked, the whole card would look crooked. A few of you have said, show me your stamp room. I'm like, well, my stamp room is, well, I'd like to say it's a mess. To me, it's a mess, but compared to many people's, it's not. But I have lots of stuff. I have lots of stuff going on here. Um, but I will. I'll, sh I'll, I'll do a video. Okay, so this paper purposely the gray sits right in the middle, the outline, and these papers were cut to the right size, but you're like, that's really hanging over. That's really hanging over, but that's because the texture that we put on the basic gray paper with the designer paper, it shrunk it because of all the texture. It shrunk it by that much, which is fine. So I'll put this on and trim it off and then distress it and distress it a little bit more. So I want this border and now I need to trim off that much. then it's perfectly even. Can't have that. Yeah. Nice. There. You never know. Oh, and you know, I think I was telling you a story. Because I have stories. So on this white, I distressed it in soft suede, and the gray, I distressed it in gray. Basic gray, basic gray, white, soft suede. Because I'm mixing the warm colors with the cool colors. That's the plan. Okay, I would just put this on, but I, I need to do the ribbon. So the ribbon is just going to go in a knot. Imagine two spools of this. I mean, you'd be set. Just in a knot. And many of the ribbons they have a tendency to to fray after you get them on your card. So I'm going to put a hint of glue on the ends of the ribbon. And I'll show you what I'm talking about here in just a minute. After I get the front of the card done. I think I cut this almost too close. But I'm going to make it work. Yeah. There it is. Okay, see how this is kind of unraveling, which is to be expected. It doesn't mean I have to like it. Okay, so 
So that looks good. And now this needs to get stuck down on the card front. So I'm going to use tear and tape. Tape and tear, tear and tape. Looks crooked on there. But on here, the bow looks, I guess that one is higher. So, and I'm using the tear tape just because it's a real strong hold. I'm going to do two layers. Because first of all, trying to stick down all this vintage, wrinkled, crinkled um, paper with the ribbon on it, that's kind of tricky. If I would use my regular, well, you know what, this is really sticky. But, um... I just I don't want it to lift up so I'm I'm making sure tear tape is good good stuff not just one layer two I don't know that. That might be a little excessive, but that's okay. One, two, three, four. Six. Seven. Voila. Okay. Card front. It's happening. It's kind of hard to tell because the um, card front is definitely distressed and wonky and I put it on a little a little bit crooked but I'm going to embrace it. Yeah. Okay, what about the bee? Oh, we haven't colored the bee. The bee is in daffodil. Just daffodil and that's it. So the flower centers are going to remain white and daffodil is going to be the color. I'm putting it on the inside of the flower. And I'm trying to touch it just a little bit because I know that the stays on ink will, um, if I kept on going over and over it, it would start smearing. And I don't want that. If I use the, um, the regular suede, I definitely know that would get fuzzy and really light. The stays on holds up just a little bit better. And using the stays on brown, because if I used um, regular black memento, which is what I should use when I'm doing the blends, that would have a whole different look. That wouldn't be this rich brown sepia type tone color. And it made me use my stays on brown, which has been sitting there for a long this one I'm going to go right out to the edges of the flower. In the heart. And I'm fine if I don't get it all the way colored, like if there's a few little white spots, that's okay. 
the vintage dimensionals. This one gets just one little bitty dimensional right there. I don't know. I like the queen. I like the crown. I like it all, but I don't know that I would ever refer to anyone as queen. No, maybe some girlfriends. Maybe. I, I don't know. How many fingers? I wish I had more fingers. I could do more. My nail guy, every time I go in, he's always doing a design. Look at the design. See on that finger? on the ring fingers and I tell him and I know the first time he did it it was because the person who did it before they did my nails bad that was bad and I think he knew it so I thought he was doing the design just as a and even out at the end he said I'm sorry just just don't give up on us but he did it good he's good so I thought he did it for that reason but every time I go in there, he's doing a design. I'm like, I'm not going to pay extra for it. I, I don't want it. It is just five bucks, but gosh, all that adds up. Um, so anyhow, so I brought him four cards. And um, I said, yeah, those are for you. I said, thank you for putting your art on my fingers. This is my art. He was like, oh my gosh. And his wife, she's kind of like office manager. She does nails there too. She's like, oh my gosh, we can sell these here. And I'm like, yeah, you can. Because I have a display out in the garage. Brand new one I got from Stampin' Storage. And they're so interested. She's like, put these on Etsy. You need to do this and that. And I'm like, it's only maybe one or two of a kind. I, I can't do that. She goes, I'll do it for you. I'm like, really? So we'll see what what comes of that. I kind of want to put it on here, but I don't want it to be hidden. The little rhinestone. Champagne. Champagne rhinestones with daffodil flowers and a curry crown. Who knew? Oh, and then there's going to be one on the inside. Okay, so I think the outside is done. But I'm going to do my little glue bit on the ribbon so it doesn't keep fraying. So I'm going to take glue and run it right along the edge. Just a thin layer. And if it soaks right in, that's great. It doesn't need to be a big old blob. Then to hold this up, While it dries, nope. There, dry. Then the same over here. This ribbon looks like it already frayed a little bit. So you know what? Maybe it's okay if it frays, because that's kind of the vintagey theme. So this step is optional. But you could do it on any of your cards. Did I work myself into a hard spot? Dry. Okay, so let's do the inside. <laughs> you know those games where you had to pull out the piece? I'm right over there. 
Okay, so for the inside is oh the flowers. Hold on. Hold them. So these flowers, I'm going to stamp them in suede. And I'll just use this as my mat. Kind of kind of poofy. But I have to stamp off. I need my placemat back. Yes. Okay. So this goes in here, on there, there, and there. Doesn't that look almost like the paper? Good. That was holding up the, the ribbon. And this is basic gray. Stamp off little leaves. And again, I'm purposely mixing cool colors with warm colors. That was like back in the day, my mother said, you can't go out wearing white and vanilla. And I said, and this is when I was like 16, I said, I like it, and I'm making a statement. <laughs> she looked at me like, oh my gosh. She goes, okay, but it doesn't match. You're going to be embarrassed. Like, okay. But I think I had on white pants and kind of a, a sleepless long tunic sweater with a slit in the shoulder, like the, the shoulders that are revealed. Oh, I just love that. And you know what? gives you the confidence and that gave me the confidence Psst, that's fine wishing you all the happiness you can imagine that's perfect for happy birthday and stays on B with just a hint of coloring on all my other ones I put glue dots in the corners so that little shield would come up with um, Pulling the lid off. B, B, B. Mmm, I went crazy on the, the flowers. B. A little bit of color. Yeah, that stamp pad is kind of inky. I lost some of the detail in my bee. That's okay. The bee needed to stand out. Okay, I think we're getting there. What was it? Debbie, the, yesterday, she sent a comment. And you, you all that, that send the comments, thank you. Could you imagine doing, like, stamping and no comments? And it's like, nobody's out there. My, I'm, I'm, I'm talking to no one. Anyhow, she sent a comment, and her comment was simply, "Thank you for your, thank you for entertainment, or thank you for being my entertainment." <laughs> You're like, "You're welcome." Oh, this one I had to trim too. Or you know what? I'm going to embrace the wrong and have a little edge at the top and the bottom because I have it perfectly distressed and colored and sponged so it's a little high at the top and the bottom and I'm pretending like I want it like when I was wearing vanilla and white yeah I planned that with confidence <laughs> Okay. 
Okay. And this has wet glue, which I'm happy I showed you, but it puts me in a little funk here. Mm-hmm. I think that's the hardest part of my day. Oop, it's big up here. Yeah. Is it crooked? Not bad. Okay, there it is. Today's project. Happy birthday. Imagine getting that in the mail. Okay, so nothing, just a white envelope. That's pretend white. You pull it out. Oh, look at the sparkle. Look at the queen bee. Okay, it's nice to get queen bee stuff. You think that I'm a princess. Thank you, happy birthday. Wishing you all the happiness you can imagine. Oh, that is just nice. Okay, coffee's kicking in. That's it, it's a good day. Till next time. Give me a thumbs up if you haven't already hit the subscribe button. Bye.